trucks. So we are watching some active storms right now here in the Concho Valley, and we do have a few watches and warnings still in effect. So you can see the southeastern part of the Concho Valley in that severe thunderstorm watch till 10 p.m., and we're watching the storm that just passed over Brady. There's one just north of Mason. A lot of lightning with the one just in the corner of McCulloch County and seeing the one towards Mason dying down just a little bit. So taking a look, it's slowly getting out of our area in the Concho Valley. A lot of lightning and with that we see a good amount of hail. We can see that hail core. Some actually had reports south of Brady that was about an inch in hail diameter. So we're watching this storm continue. It does have that severe thunderstorm warning in effect till 7 p.m. tonight. They've extended into further out towards the east, but it is going to be getting out of McCulloch County as we go into the rest of our evening. You can see here, there's the storm. They kind of cut out Brady just a little bit, still including the most eastern part of McCulloch County and further out towards the east. That's until 7 p.m. tonight. They'll watch to see if it builds in strength, and we're going to watch continuing tonight as we have some severe thunderstorm watch till 10 p.m. for those counties still Concho, Kimball, McCullough, Menard as well. They do have the potential because that's that cold front that is moving further south has not gotten to them to cool them down and get rid of some of that energy in the atmosphere. You can see the low 80s here in San Angelo, 83 towards Mertzen and Big Lake. And then taking a look further south along I-10, low 90s, 92 at Junction. Menard actually cooled down a little bit and same for Brady. They cooled down at 78 because of that storm. 86 towards Mason, so plenty of energy still as we go into tonight to see some showers and storms coming through our overnight. That is why we're in that slight risk for the severe weather, and we're seeing that is including everyone in that watch for tonight. So we see those quickly build up into our overnight hours Monday by 11.30 into midnight, still seeing some light showers for everybody. But then we set up for this very... If you remember Easter like weekend where it was cloudy, it was cold, and we saw some rain chances come through, that's going to be this week. We see that Tuesday, we see plenty of cloud cover, seeing some light isolated showers popping up throughout the day on Tuesday. We get a break overnight, then Wednesday and Thursday is the bulk of our rain chances. Already taking a look early in the day, seeing popping up, moving through some showers and some storms. So for tonight, still going to watch those severe thunderstorms in the south southeastern part of the Contra Valley. Cooling down to 55 for us tonight and then tomorrow. Only 65 and plus the winds from the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. It's going to feel a little bit cooler. So for Wednesday, early in the morning, we're starting to see pretty widespread showers. A few storms can be embedded there. We get a break, but then Thursday, another round comes back in the afternoon. Just like for Wednesday, a few showers, a few embedded storms coming through. Unfortunately, a performance day for rodeo. You might want to grab the rain gear for that day and keep it around because by Friday and Saturday we still have a few showers lingering into Saturday but it is slowly drying out for us so that is going to be a big plus but it is going to be staying cold cloudy and rainy because we set up that atmosphere of seeing plenty of cool air in the southern part of the area and in the upper atmosphere moisture and everything coming in from the southwest and then we have another push on Saturday of a surface cold front cooling us back down into those 60s. So with this week we are going to make our first announcement of who has won the Contro Valley weather radio. I'm going to be making that at 10 o'clock. It's good to have especially since we do have some severe weather going on right now. It'll get you all that great information for you. If you weren't the lucky one to win tonight you can always go and check it out for this tomorrow as well. It is going to be rainy as we continue this week. It does give us a few breaks for the end of the week and into the weekend.